Alright guys, of course Nax here, let's get straight into the tutorial and in this video I will show you how to make a clean anime header and by the way this header won't t take so, so long to make because that's why I'm doing it, I'm doing it to make it quick, I'm going doing it to show you that you can make a quick header, quick good looking header and yeah let's get into it. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is we want to drag a render. So I'm going to get this one. It's from DeviantArt. Alright, we can place it in the middle. Alright, and the first thing we have to do is of course delete the watermark. Alright, and as we can see the render is not the best quality. It has potential, so we are going to click Ctrl, Shift and A. So we can make the quality even better. And by the way, my computer can be laggy sometimes, so yeah. Uh, Alright, so we go ba to basic, clarity and texture, and we raise it up, and then detail and noise reduction to the full. Click OK. Alright, and the next thing, we are going to make the text. Alright, so we are picking the text and... Uh, this font is called Pascal. I will leave a link in the description so you can download it without any problem. Alright, so we are going to get a white color and we are going to make a nickname Jane. So just like that. Wait, let me actually close this card and, and Spotify so it won't be laggy. Alright, so J then A. By the way, we are going to make it separately every letter because we want to include different effects to different parts of the text. So now N. Just like that, we have to place it in the nice place so everything will fit. And then E. So we can do it like, maybe like that, it's cool I think. Alright, and actually now we can make the text, we can group it. So, by the way, if you didn't know how to group layers, you hold shift at the first and the last layer, and you go here and create, create a group. Alright, we can, we can make this text kinda, kinda bigger, like that. We can drag a render on the left side a bit, alright, it's cool. And I have an idea what we can do here, so we can leave this first two and J and I um, letters white. So let's group it and convert to smart object. And here we are going to do the same thing, but here we are going to actually add effects. So it is like a nice contrast from, from four of these letters. Alright, so we can actually get a gradient overlay. And I think we will make it... I will make it blue. So when you go to gradients, you can see this basics, basic colors and you go to blue and you get the third one. And the next thing we can make inner shadow. We can just, you can just um, copy my settings, just like that. <laughs> All right. And now we can go with bevel and emboss and now with with actually a stroke to give a little contrast to the header we can make it like maybe like hmm, like this bluish but more like dark so so like that all right I think it's cool and the next we think we want to do is we want to add a half tone so you can Mm, use my pack to use to do this. I will leave a link in the description. You can buy this. It is at the moment at only 10 USD because there is a sale. I don't really know when the, the pack will be 20 USD again, but I think pretty soon because this like sale is really going well. So I think I have to stop it one time. But yeah, go to this description and, and I will leave a link to buy the pack. Alright, so you go to my Eternal pack. And now we go to Halftone folder. And you go at the last layer, you take it, you copy. And just do it like that. 
and we can do it like that. You, we can just delete all the effects or maybe leave a mm, gradient. So just like that, cover the smart object and we can make it like that. We can make it dark, all right. And now we are converting it to smart object and we are doing the same thing that we did before. And we can actually add inner glow too. All right, and as you can see, it looks it looks good already. It has this like nice contrast. And now we can add a background. Mm, so we are go. I'm going to get another background. It's I just the way I found it was I just got, went uh, to Chrome and I just searched for anime nature background. So we can put it in this place, I think it's nice. And of course we have to make the quality better with camera row, so Ctrl, Shift and A again. And noise reduction to the full, and now basics, clarity, texture. And we can maybe make the contrast a little bit bigger to make the colors really pop off. Alright, so just like that. Next time, next thing we, we can do is just add a blur. To the background we can add I think like seven it would be nice or maybe maybe less like like five yeah I think it's cool and the next thing and this is like the lazy method method to make effects on the render but we can just copy the background we can go to the render we can just just paste the background create clipping mask and go to filter blur and Gaussian blur and make it like like 45 and now we go with overlay or maybe soft light will be better here and just lower the quality it's like the lazy way to make highlights you can do it like that you can do it any other way but yeah all right and another thing we can do is we can go with the text and add shadows so so just like that i think it's cool all right all right, and the next thing we can do is we can add some leaves. Mm, so I would add this one. All right, so we can add some in the background here. Of course, blur. And let's make the blur like that. We can add it here also. Let's delete this one. We can copy it, go here, and so we will see the blur. So like that. I'm sorry for the sounds. And now go to filter blur and Gaussian blur and make the blur bigger. All right, I think it's cool. All right, and the next thing we are going to do is we are going to make like this nice highlights. So we go with brush tool, of course. And by the way, you can search the color. You can just pick the color by holding Alt and just clicking on or anywhere you want. So here you click on the text and you have like white color. Here you get blue, here you get green. So you can do that by, by, by just clicking, like holding Alt and clicking on the color. All right, and we can just make this nice highlights here. It's really like a quick, quick tutorial. So generally when I do client works, it takes a long time to make a header good. But here I'm just showing you that it's possible to make a nice header in a short period of time. So just for some lazy people here. All right, this, this highlights like that. Here, here, maybe here, 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 and here. Also, we can add it here and here, and now we go with linear dodge, and we just lower the opacity. All right, it's cool. And now we are going to group everything and go with group and click Ctrl Shift Alt and E to make to make that like the one one layer of the header, and then Ctrl Shift and A so we can make final effects. 
Alright, so just you can just copy my settings as I do them because yeah, there, there's no like one the be one best setting for camera roll, but you just have to see what looks the best. Alright, so just like that here. Alright, mm, I do, will not go with detail and all of this effects. We go to calibration. Now we can just play with these colors to see what looks the best. Alright, just like that. And now we can click Ctrl and J to copy. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and we can make it like 50. And now we'll go with lighter color and we can make it 10. And then group everything again, and we can go with noise, add noise, and add 5. And yeah, that's it. The header is done. I think if you are a beginner in designing and if you maybe need a header or your friend needs a header, I think, I don't know how how long it took me to make it, probably like 10 minutes or something, but yeah, it's just a quick way to make a nice looking header. One thing that maybe I would do differently is change colors of this of this N and E, but you can do it, you can do whatever you want. And by the way, I will leave a link in the description uh, to this PSD so you can play around with this header. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope, hope it helped you a lot. And yeah, make sure to click that subscribe button, make, make sure to like the video and make sure to check out my store. And yeah, see you in the next video.